Today we're gonna read Forky in Craft Buddy Day. Who knows this character Forky from Toy Story? Isn't he fun? Let's see what the book has to say. Forky in Craft Buddy Day. Forky was Bonnie's favorite toy in the whole world. She had made him in kindergarten and she took him everywhere she went. At home, the other toys kept him company. And I was like, Miranda, honey, you do not need him, girlfriend. That's Garby Gabbage. Truck is just plain trash. Oops, I'm sorry, Forky. I know that's a sensitive subject for you. Oh, that's okay. I know. I'm a toy now. Bonnie even took Forky to school with her, but sometimes, like when Bonnie went to gym class or the library and Forky had to stay behind, he got lonely and kind of wished he had some friends to talk to when she was gone. Then one day, Miss Wendy made an announcement. I know everyone loves Forky, and Bonnie did such a fantastic job making him that I've decided today will be Craft Your Own Buddy Day. Yippee! Yay! Hooray! Yeah! Cool beans. Miss Wendy took out all the art supplies and the recyclables, and everyone got to work. Since Bonnie already had Forky, she helped everyone else with her projects. That's really nice to be a good friend and help others. Forky looked at all the things the kids were making. Hmm, too bad none of them can talk. They could really be my buddies. When the bell rang, Miss Wendy said, okay everyone, time for recess. Don't forget to put your names on your craft buddies before you leave. Yes, now they'll come to life like I did when Bonnie wrote on me. Forky watched the crafts lie there still and silent. Just as he was beginning to think they weren't going to come alive, all the craft buddies opened their eyes, sat up, and blinked in confusion. Then they started running around and screaming in panic. As the popsicle stick man flew past, Forky reached out and grabbed him. Hey, what's wrong? What do you mean what's wrong? Where's the rest of my popsicle? I'm naked without my flavored ice. Uh, naked! Do you hear me? Ah! But you're not a popsicle anymore. You're a toy. Ah! Ah! But the popsicle stick man just took off across the classroom, freaking out. Next, Forky came face to face with hand turkey. Hi, I'm Forky on Mr. Chicken's fingers. Chicken fingers, but you're a hand turkey. And you're a sport named Forky, but you don't see me complaining. As hand turkey walked off, Miss Paper Plate ran up to Forky and grabbed him by the shoulders. I need food on my face right now. She reached into a nearby lunch bag, pulled out a bunch of cheese curls, put them on top of herself, and lay down flat. Oh, that's better. Now I look presentable. Just as she said that, the paper bag jumped up, flipped upside down, and yelled at her. Hey, those are my cheese curls. But you guys aren't for holding food anymore. As the bag and the plate wrestled over the cheese curls, a juice box robot rushed up and shoved its straw in Forky's mouth. Quick, drink me. But you're empty and you're not a juice box anymore. Juice box robot didn't even hear him. Drink me. Drink me. Hey, you, drink me. Drink me. 
For the love of all the red and yummy, drink me. Ooh. Forky looked down to see the clothespin shark at his feet, staring up at him. Back off, spoon boy, or I'll bite you in half. But you're not a shark, you're a toy. Nope, I'm a shark. You're a toy. Shark. Toy. That doesn't hurt. You're not really doing anything to me. Yes, I am. You're in excruciating pain right now. I'm not doing this. Chomp. 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 Just then, Forky was almost run over by a toilet paper tube race car. Sorry, buddy, uh, but I got a fine TP pronto. What? No. No, you don't. You're a race car toy. Chomp, chomp. The shark is still trying to bite at him. You got any idea what it's like to be out of toilet paper? I can't do my job without TP. And with that, the race car zoomed off. Forky looked around all the craziness. Craft buddies were losing it everywhere. In the corner was Cloudy. I just can't stop crying. Why, why am I crying? Then there was Bubble Wrap Woman. Must pop. The bubbles pop, pop. I can't stop popping myself, pop. And leaf guy, leaf loves tree. Tree is everything to leaf. Bring the bell rang again. Oh no, recess was over and the kids would be back any second. As Forky looked around, he knew if the kids came back in and saw all the chaos, it would be a terrifying disaster. He had to calm down all the craft buddies and make them understand that they were toys. Like now, but how? Everyone, listen up. You, Leafy, you can hug that tree all you want, but it can't hug you back, can it? You know who can, though? The child who made you. And Juice Box Robot, that empty feeling inside you isn't a lack of juice. It's because you want to be loved, and there's no one better to do that than the kid who made you. Miss Paper Plate and Paper Bag Pocket. It's not cheese curls you're craving. It's Chanterice and Charles. And Hand Turkey. You want to be a chicken? You be that chicken. But be it for the kid who named you Mr. Chicken Fingers in the first place. Because no one's going to believe you more than he will. As for the rest of you, you're not here because of what you were. You're here because of what you are. How a child imagines you. You're something much more than you were before. You're a toy. You are all toys, which means you were made out of pure love. And if you just give it a try, you might find that it's the best thing to be. Suddenly, the classroom door was thrown open. Miss Wendy, Bonnie, and the rest of the kids came in to discover. All the craft buddies lying there quietly in the same spots as before. But as the kids took their seats at their tables, there was one thing that was different. Hmm, I wonder what was different. Each and every toy had a smile on its face. 
especially Forky. The end. That was Forky in Craft Buddy Day, written by Drew Daywalt.